Welcome to another edition of Hunt to Eat's Community Kitchen. My name is Michael Cravens. Today we are making arroz con saino. This is a staple dish in Costa Rica, where my family and I were supposed to be this fall. Thanks to COVID, we are stuck here in Arizona, which I have to admit is not a bad place to be in the fall. With that said, we are missing out on a trip to a place that is near and dear to us so we thought we would try to make up for it with this dish. Now, arroz con means rice with. That is usually going to be chicken, pork, but in this case, saino is javelina. Javelina is a native species in Costa Rica and luckily here in Arizona too. So let's have a look at our ingredients. Here we have one cup of white rice, cilantro, celery, carrots, garlic, a sweet red pepper, white onion, I'm using a smoked duck stock, Lizano salsa, a staple condiment in Costa Rica, and a chote paste. Most importantly, our javelina. I'm using a back strap, but any tender cut of meat will do. So the first step is going to be to chop up our vegetables. Let's start with our onion. And then our garlic. We're going to want to dice this up good. Now comes our red pepper, and this is why I like a nice big cutting board. You have plenty of room to work. You just uh, chop one vegetable, scoot it to the side, and get to work on the next. Up next is our celery, then our carrots, and then finally our parsley. Chop this up and save a little bit to the side for a nice garnish in the end. And there you have it, all our veggies prepped and ready to go. Now on to our javelina backstrap. As you can see, this one still has a silver skin, still has some connective tissue. So we're gonna wanna get that trimmed up. Use a good sharp knife, a fillet knife or a bony knife with a relatively flexible blade. This is a lot like skinning a fish. You just keep the pressure down on the board and away from the meat and slice that right off. Now, once we have a nice clean back strap, we're gonna go ahead and cut this up into about the same size pieces that we did with our veggies. So as you can see, most of the work of this dish is tied up in the prep, the chopping and the cutting. After this, things get a little easier. So over a medium flame, bring your skillet to temperature. Then we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of whatever oil you choose. It's not terribly important. In this case, all we're doing is browning our meat. Once our skillet comes to temperature, we're gonna add our javelina. Now, a couple notes here. One, I did salt these pieces of meat. And two, some people might recoil at the idea of me cutting up meat on the same board that I cut up my vegetables on. But the truth is they're all going to the same place and they're all gonna be fully cooked. So move them around as they cook here and there. Let them get nice and brown. Get some good caramelization on the outside. That's going to add a lot of flavor to the end product. And as soon as that's all done, just turn off your heat and set it aside. On to our rice. Uh, this is one cup of rinsed white rice. I am going to use, instead of water, a smoked duck stock. I realize not everybody's got smoked duck stock. Uh, this is one of the richest stocks I have and I really like it. You can use chicken broth, you can use beef stock, you can use water, whatever you like. The trick to rice is one cup of rice to two cups of water, bring to a boil, cover, reduce to a simmer, let simmer for 15 minutes, turn off the heat, let it sit with the lid on for about five more minutes. Sounds simple, and it should be. I still screw it up sometimes. Check the manufacturer's directions if they're available. Now, while that rice is cooking, we're gonna get back to our vegetables. Again, start with a couple tablespoons of oil and a skillet, bring it to temperature. Once that skillet does come to temperature, we're gonna add our onions first. We'll let those onions cook until they start to become translucent. Once we get to that point, we're gonna go ahead and add our celery, then our peppers, and finally our carrots. Go ahead and give this a good mix, salt and pepper it, and then allow it to saute until those vegetables are cooked, but still a little firm. So after about 15 or 20 minutes, when your vegetables are about where you want them to be, go ahead and add that garlic, mix that in, and cook it for another 10 minutes or so. Once our veggies are done, we're gonna go ahead and add our javelina into the mix. Finally, I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon of echote paste. 
Uh, this is going to take a little bit of work to get that mixed in, but give that a really good mix until all that paste is broke up and thoroughly mixed in with your veggies. That's going to take some mixing, but once you're there, it's time to add the rice. Then your cilantro. And finally, your Lisano salsa. Just a few tablespoons. This and your achote paste, they can be found at just about any Latin market. So while they might sound exotic, they're really not that hard to find. Finally, give this all a very good mix. It's been a lot of work to get here, so don't skip now. The finished product is going to be worth it. To keep this truly authentic, there is one more step, and that is packing this into a bowl, flipping it over, and serving it legit Costa Rican style. Top it off with a garnish of cilantro and a cold tecate. Now, in full disclosure, I did look for Imperial, the true beer of Costa Rica, but thanks to COVID and shut down borders, none was to be had. Besides, I drank plenty of Tecate when I was in Costa Rica, so this is good enough for me. This has been Michael Cravens with Hunt Eats Community Kitchen.